Okay, so here is our all of our shells from the weekend. We'll start over here with the purple sea fans, which I just love the color of. It's hard to see how purple they are, but beautiful purple color. And then we have a chocolate periwalk. I just love the coloring of that. Some of the nerites. I don't take too many of them. They're hard to find that aren't alive, but here's one with a bleeding tooth. And I found that the bleeding teeth ones seem to be more yellow at the top, and then they have the tooth inside as the bright red. Um, this is a yellow jewel box that was intact, but is no longer, it must have gotten in the bleach bucket. And here is some of our true tulips, and a chocolate cone, which is not a common find over in the Keys. And here is Nicholas's Harry Triton. My angular triton, which was on my bucket list, and I just love the yellow color. I was so excited to find that. And Olivia's juvenile giant ton. Little wormy shell. Uh, Caribbean vase shells. The long spiny star shell. Sea urchins. Juvenile hawk wings that look like little cones and all kinds of hawk wings. And then we have the great big mama um, queen conch along the top. And then we have the roller queen conchs, which are the beautiful orange and pink colors. Um, they call them the rollers because they don't have the lip on them yet. And the lip is just not, hasn't grown yet. It grows as they get, um, I believe, I think around two years old is when they start getting their lips on them. So in the meantime, there's nothing to stabilize them to the ground. So they just tend to roll around in the waves. Um, there aren't many waves in the keys, but that's just how they're made. Um, this top row of sea biscuits seems to have cleaned up much better than the bottom row. If you notice here, you can see the it's almost like a plaster, um, some sort of a residue on a lot of the shells in the keys is that white um, plastic looking stuff. Um, here's my milk conks, and that one doesn't look very good either, but I do like the shape. This one's really pretty. I like this one a lot. It's probably the nicest of the ones that we found. But he does have a little pitted holes at the top if that will focus. Very pretty. And I like this little pink one too, but he's got some issues on him also where he's pitted. And there's the baby queen conchs and my favorite coral that I found. It's 3D, so it kind of sticks up on some of the sides, so that'll be fun to put some shells on. And this is mine and Olivia's queen conchs that we were super excited to find. Um, of all the shelling that we did, most of our finds were alive, so they had to go back. But on the first, or the second day we were um, shelling, I found mine. This one's Olivia's. Look how beautiful that yellow is inside and pink. She finally found one. It's, it's very smelly. Um, hers was the last day, and I found mine. You can see hers is really pretty on the outside. Mine has, looks like some worm damage at the top. Um, but I liked the inside of it so much that I had to keep it. Um, look at that pink. Definitely worth the outside being not as pretty. And then some of these, you know, this is what you normally find when you're snorkeling. We spent many, many, many hours looking for, we only found two that were beautiful inside. Most of the time you find them in this yucky condition or alive. It's very, very rare that we find nice ones that um, have the pretty pink inside still, so they must have been um, recently dead. And um, after three days of snorkeling for hours and hours a day, those are the only two that we found. So very lucky, but not an easy find. So I'm just showing you the, the whole and caboodle here. 
pretty excited. I'm gonna start putting them away in the house now, the ones that don't need bleach anymore. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.